Hmm. What is going on everyone? Derek here today, bringing you another video. Currently on my way to Romina's. I'm picking her up and then her and I are actually heading back to the Miranda's house. We're gonna hang out with them for a little bit and you can clearly see from the title, sorry, the Mustang got my attention. But you can clearly see from the title and thumbnail of this video, Brandon has something pretty unique to show us with his 2016, 2015 Mustang GT, also known as Minion 5.0. God, here's another one. They're all out today, I swear. But yes, with this video, guys, I thought it'd be pretty interesting to show you what he did. Um, you know, he did spend a pretty penny on it, and it's really unique, actually. First things first, I have to pick up Romina, as I said. I'm currently almost there, so with that, hey. I brought you I brought you a sandwich. A sandwich! You are going to be in charge of this, okay? So they want to see you eat. Here. It's kind of it's kind of weird because usually we're always at the Miranda's with our cars when it's nice weather And it's just getting me excited for springtime because it's nothing but cars and this winter stuff can honestly go away I'm over it. God, I'm so glad to be done driving right now. I feel like I've been driving all day. You didn't What? Where did you go without me? Oh uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this collar looks really cool on camera. Look at it. Mm. We got Mr. Joel. Why is Joel parked on the street? Got the V6. A -A. So we're in the Miranda's right now trying to watch the Daytona 500 and within the first two laps or so with the pace car it started raining and they had to pull them off. That's unfortunate and I've actually never watched NASCAR like this. Um, you know obviously I think everybody has seen it like you know the cars do some laps but I've never been into it. Circles. Yeah. So just got Brandon out here and Gotta close the door. <gasps> What's up, man? What's up? Dude, you got a pretty hefty purchase for this thing recently, haven't you? Are you, like, kind of upset about it? My bank account is. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to show you what that is in just a moment. Let's take a look at Shadow. Looks like he just started it up. You miss that? I kind of miss it. Not going to lie, I kind of miss mine too. But all right, man, let's see this thing start up. Let's hear it. That sounds so good. Just wait till it gets headers. We are gonna go right into this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what Brandon got. I wanted to share this with you because I know many of you that watch my videos have SY50s along with S197s, but unfortunately today, S197 guys are gonna have to sit down on this. But if you have an S550, check this out. All right, Brandon, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you the spotlight. Um, you can just jump right on into so it. Okay. I went ahead and put the digital gauge cluster out of a 2018 to 2020. I put the bullet cluster in so it shows that cool pony emoji and my speedometer goes to 180 instead of 160. But your car doesn't do 180. It could. I doubt it. Then it'll show all your RPMs and everything there. Colors I can change. I can go down here to the drive mode button and then come back up here. And then when you swap through, you can change the style of the cluster. That's like my favorite one right there. Oh no, that, that one. That's this the track one, my right? favorite. Dude, that one's insane. Hey, give it a little rev for him real quick. That is so sick. All the buttons on here are swapped. It's really nice. But how much was it? I paid 15. But 100. how much is it though? I think it's like 18 to two grand. <laughs> depending on, it's extra if you have a 15 to 17, cause it's extra programming. Guys, he spent like two grand on a freaking gauge. I gotta admit though, it is pretty nasty. Actually, you're over two grand already in the interior because you did put the Sync 3 in. Sync 3 with car play. Brandon balling out on the interior. I got a Maybach now, bitch. <laughs> and I want to say Hell Horse Performance carries yeah. this, right? So check out Hell Horse. By the way, Hell Horse, if you're watching, hook your boy up. I know you do a lot of collaborations with other YouTubers. I'm down and trying to get you some sales. Yeah, change it to all blue. We'll go primary, go down to blue, and secondary. 
blue, and then there you go. Dude, that is so sick. All right, so now that Brandon's like going around the block because you got to do it for the vlog, guys. This is the way to go. If you're looking to buy a Mustang, you don't buy that. Whatever that was, you, you discard that. You buy these, okay? This is an S197. 2011 through 2014 is the way you want to go. Like, look at that, guys. Come on now. Come on now. I got to admit, it's pretty nice. All right, let's roll. that fixed oh my god Oh, there's a little rundown on this really cool gauge cluster. I have never seen anything like it because I've never been in a newer Mustang other than Brandon's and he said he ordered it and I was so confused as to why it was so much money. But that thing's actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie to you. Coming from an S197 standpoint, like I wish we could have something like that. But you know, I don't even have this big old touchscreen thing in mind. Yeah, I just have a simple gauge, which you know it's it is, you do get the luxurious options with the S550. Let me show you all the track apps. Come to the track apps, and now you got the acceleration timer. So you can go zero to test out your quarter mile time. It'll switch everything to there, and then you would just line up. No shit. And then it would do its countdown, and then you would launch it. Yo, that is so sick. Are you, you have your own fucking tree in this? Yeah, and then there's also, you can swap what you want it to look like. So you can get down here to start option. You can sit on like a racetrack. No so kidding. It dude. pops up as like an F1 style one when you do it. So it'll pop up like that, and then you can swap. It'll go all the way down. The lights turn green, and then you can go. Dude, that is actually really cool. So the main question is, Brandon, as an S550 owner, do you highly recommend it, and is it worth every penny you spent? To me, like, I'm not worried about boost and stuff right now. So to me, like this is the stuff that I like. I like having the stuff that's on the interior that I can actually look at and enjoy. Yeah, I have to admit, like I thought you were kind of bonkers for spending that much money, but I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not just saying this because it's on camera, but that is actually really sick. And I think this video is gonna inspire other people that like, you know, aren't really too worried about full bolt-ons, boosts yeah. or anything. You just want, I mean, you got everything, dude. You got every, you know, heated cool seats. You got the big old touchscreen with Sync 3. He upgraded that, remind you, like it's expensive yeah, to it's do. A, it's a 15, so it comes with Sync 2 or my four touch. So it's very slow when you touch it. But now you have Sync 3 in there. But I have an 18 manifold, headers are coming. We're not gonna forget about bolt-ons. Again, I know this is like a really, really random video, but I know I have a lot of S550 people that watch this video, and I recommend that so much. And I don't know how many, is there a lot of videos online no, about this? There's not that many videos on YouTube showing, going like a walkthrough around this. Well, there you go, well. And since I have a, a perform, fuck. <laughs> since I have a performance package, I have these gauges as well. This is my oil pressure and vacuum. So down here, you can even go through, like since I'm on my gauges, all of that will pop up on here, along with, I. you can set three different gauge options in here in your gauge menu. When you go into the configure, you can configure anything out of, you can pick three out of all of these that you want to have shown on this screen right here. On those here. gauges right there. Go get yourself one, because I'm not gonna lie, I'm jealous. So if there's any companies watching this, figure out a way to make this work in the S197 and you have my money. It's expensive, I'll admit, but to me, it's worth it. To others, they'd rather go fast and full bolt-ons. Well, hey man, it's your car at the end of the day. 
it's your money. And if somebody has a problem with it, you know what you say, right? Don't mind us. Keep your haters out of here. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Fuck off, bruh. <laughs>